Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Yolanda Monique and I'm here to talk to you about my 90 day castor oil hair challenge. I actually went over 90 days because for two and a half weeks I was sick, one with the flu, one with the upper respiratory infection. So I added the two weeks that I did not even participate, you know, into the end. So let me get started with an overall review. For the the <laughs> for the challenge, I was to use castor oil a minimum of one time a week, a maximum of three times a week, in some shape, form, or fashion. The way that I initially started off, and I'm saying initial because up until I got sick, I felt like I was very dedicated to the challenge. And then as I got sick and I recovered, I kind of I'm not gonna lie to you, I just kind of nosedive on it. But when I first started the challenge, the first month, I'd say, I was applying castor oil to my hair three times a week. I applied some in my shampoo, and then I would do a deep conditioning with it every other week. And then after I got sick, I stopped doing the deep conditioning and applying to my shampoo, and I was just doing it once a week. So overall, the results for my hair, um, and I'll show you the before and after photo here. Overall, the results for my hair is it got thicker. I have 4C hair, 4CD hair, depending on which chart you look at. So I have that fight the power kind of hair. I have got, it's, I guess you would say thick and very kinky, coily hair. After the challenge, my hair got thicker. And I know that for some people that might be hard to think thick hair got thicker, but before it was, I could comb through it, but it would take me a while. During the challenge, and as I'm, my hair is getting adjusted to the castor oil, it became ridiculously thick. I will say that I did gain length, as you can see. I will tell you that the places that didn't grow the most, or normally didn't, I see, the places that I normally don't see hair growth, I did see hair growth with this. Um, for my edges, my edges were really, really bad. I mean, here you can see that they're they're growing in. I mean, before there was nothing there, and now I have I have hair, and I'm going to continue to use castor oil in some shape, form, or fashion. I will definitely, um, I will definitely be using castor oil mostly once a week. I will try to go twice a week with using it to on my hair, but. For me, I didn't like I said, I didn't get the length that everyone else was getting. Now, other members of my family also joined me in this challenge. My aunt and my mom joined me in the challenge halfway through. I can tell you that my aunt got major length. She, in one month, she grew about an inch worth of hair. She was able to get such length that she actually went in and had her hair trimmed. And my aunt is very stubborn about trimming her hair because she wants it to grow. My mom has seen peach fuzz in same thing. I, I think it's hereditary. You know, the re recessive hair right here in the temples. Um, my mom has that. And so she has seen growth in her hair. So I, I would definitely say that it varies depending on each person's hair type and their hair. Like I said, for me, I got hair growth, but I didn't get the super growth that other people got, but I got thickness. And I know that some people may not see the length as much as others, but how am I trying to word this? I know for a fact that I got hair growth because when my grandmother came to see me, who I don't see that often, the first thing she does, and she's a southern woman, so she was like, oh baby, your hair is grown. So when someone who doesn't see you as often acknowledges the fact that you've got hair growth, to me that was telling me I was getting growth is just... It wasn't the growth that I wanted. I don't know if I'm making sense on that. But I will definitely be keeping castor oil in my regiment for my hair care routine. To sum up my experience with castor oil, I would say, one, you will see growth in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it is growth in length or growth in thickness. Two, I would recommend it to other friends or family members who are interested in it. And I did have a positive experience. I will tell you that it uh, it's time consuming because you have to dedicate time to make sure that you do the, the hair hot oil treatments in your hair and things like that. But it made me more conscious about what I'm doing to my hair and made me more conscious about the things that I'm doing to get my hair to grow. 
I love the results that I did get with the challenge and I would definitely do another one just probably later on during the year. So if you have any questions for me about my experience regarding the castor oil challenge or castor oil applying to my hair, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll reply to your comment if you want to personal message me about it. I would be more than happy to reply to it. I just think that you need to be realistic on what you're expecting. There are some people who naturally have fast growing hair. So of course them using the challenge did make me who doesn't have natural fast growing hair think, oh, I'm going to get this growth. And I had to have a reality check and say, you know, my hair only grows uh, half of an inch in a month. So don't expect results with they were getting, which was double, um, uh, you know, double that or even triple that. Some people, um, so I think that if you're going to go into a challenge or go into a hair care routine, you need to be realistic about what your hair normally does under general or regular circumstances and what to expect with this. My hair is softer. I will tell you that I am permed. I, I am processed hair. So I tried the natural thing. It just didn't fit for me because like I said, I have 4C D hair. It was very, very hard for me to get my hair to do the things that I wanted. I will stretch my um, perm as far as I can before it gets to the point that it's like, oh, I definitely need to get another perm. But I think that's it. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching my video. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will reply. <laughs> If you want to continue to see more videos in regards to hair, makeup, and whatnot, then don't forget to subscribe. As always, know that you're blessed and love, and I will check you guys out on the next video. Bye.